what stands out the most is his work ethic. Not only is he very knowledgeable about the standard and what we need to put together for high quality and efficiency, but you know, there's never a time when he's not exactly everything that I need him to be. You put Bill in any situation, any environment, any circumstance, he succeeds. He can put himself in somebody else's shoes and understand what makes them tick, what drives them, and then he can extract the best out of them. My name is Bill Reed. I've been with the Rose Group for 21 years and the general manager. I think the team really feeds off of how you are and your attitude and, and what you present to them. So if you come in positive and try and make it a fun shift, I think if people have fun while they're working, it doesn't really feel like work. Bill expects the best from his crew and he leads by example. He'll never ask you to do anything that he wouldn't do and there's nothing that I wouldn't do for him. He was in Ben Salem and he turned him into spot champions. Then, you know, we transferred him to the Roosevelt Boulevard location. Again, crowned them spot champions. He puts great systems in place that benefits the restaurant. And he follows up with those systems every day with positive recognition and holds his people accountable to those systems to make the restaurant successful. I haven't seen a drive like his from anybody else. He's very unique at what he does and you know, just a great guy to work with. Really kind of going through COVID, it was really awesome to see how we kind of persevered and we came out stronger than before. And right now we're starting to really utilize technology, which, you know, helps us uh, execute every single day with the staff we have. Bill was very instrumental during the pandemic, besides the day-to-day -day stuff. I and mean, he, we leaned on him to um, put operational systems in place that made sense during that time. The second day we kind of reopened for to-go only and we didn't really know what to expect and we got a couple orders and then it just kept growing every single day and you just kind of adjusted and, and figured it out as you went and I mean I think that kind of helped us when we opened the cloud kitchens because that's exactly how it was. We had no game plan to work off of. So the cloud kitchens are two 200 square foot kitchens and we just do takeout and delivery from. So we do Uber Eats, we do DoorDash, Grubhub. It's a different concept. You know, it's the wave of the future. But his current responsibilities is he runs Roosevelt Boulevard, second busiest store in our company, and the two cloud kitchens. He runs the day-to-day -day operations for all of them. And we were just closed and just doing takeout and to-go. We, we were sometimes doing $70,000 just in takeout. So we leaned on Bill just to put different systems in place. After weeks, we kind of got our feet underneath us and exactly knew what to expect and, and got our plan solidified. Unfortunately, a lot of people lost their income and a lot of people didn't have money. So Bill took it upon himself to, to feed uh, our staff and their family during that time just to help them get through that. It was really that whole team effort that we kind of kicked in there and, and kept us going the right direction. That I mean, that's the perseverance that you know I kind of believe in. That's why we can get through whatever is ahead of us. He's just he's just incredibly dedicated. He's always moving the restaurant forward, um, and he's just a, he's incredibly dedicated to his family. Just you know, I really I really respect that too. A single father. He has a set of twins and another and a young boy. Doing what he does in his restaurant and taking care of his family is incredible.